when it comes to emergencies or falling into uh, very dangerous situations, you, uh, what I do is I like to count up the lemons. I add the lemons up. One lemon, two lemon, three lemon. You know, you're injured, that's a lemon. Weather's bad, that's a lemon. Your canoe's got a hole in it, that's the third lemon. You need to stop and fix the circumstances. So, as I work to try and maybe CSI this particular tragedy on this trail, the first lemon for me right off the bat, right in the very beginning, is pushing really hard and doing in one day what you're supposed to do in two days. So even now, got a good blister on the back of my heel. On my right foot and on my left foot, I'm still nursing a pulled Achilles heel from about nine months ago. And it's reminding me of that fact with every step. These injuries, constitute for me, well, uh, let's call it a half a lemon right now. The point being is I gotta pay attention. You know, now that I think of it, because I'm out here alone, that's gotta constitute a half a lemon right there. So, if not a full lemon, so. For now, Let's just say I've got one lemon stacked up against me, and I want to pay attention to that. This isn't about being overcautious. The lemon method is serious business. Tragedies occur every year simply because of casual attitudes taken toward wilderness adventure. Trekking out onto the land is all well and fun until something goes wrong. Wind has always been my nemesis. Give me rain, heat, cold. Wind is the toughest thing. It cuts through everything. It takes all of the heat that you have, your internal combustion, and just whisks it away. I can be hypothermic in seconds, really. And this is the kind of thing that starts to throw, as I like to say, a lemon into the equation. So now I got damaged heels. I'm hiking alone, and I'm facing a very strong wind, doing difficult hills. I'm already at a lemon and a half. Two lemons, it means I need to take care of every next step that I take. 